Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRodAutomation.com and welcome to another section of our Cucumber Visarinium course. And in this section we are going to be talking about upgrading our current version of Cucumber which is Cucumber 1.2.5 to Cucumber 4. So this section is fully focused on upgrading. The reason is because the Cucumber version 1.2.5 is from 2016 and now it is in 2019 and we have not upgraded our course ever. Even though it's a free basic course, we have to somehow upgrade the course with Cucumber because we are talking about Cucumber and it is highly important that we really upgrade the course to the latest and the greatest of everything. All right, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water, and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. So this is one of the initiative which we took for this course, at least to propagate the information on protecting our motherly planet Earth. So let's all try to do that at least in a little bit by saving some water, some energy to just plant a tree if you have a space. Not many people really have it, including me. But of course, we should try to make this happen. Why upgrading Cukes Cucumber to Cucumber 4? So this is one of the first questions you really encounter while starting to work with Cucumber itself. As you can see, the Cukes Cucumber that we actually released this whole course on 2016, that was the time the library was released and it was in 1.2.5 and it is still in 1.2.5 and there was no major development happened because the project has been moved completely from Cucumber Cukes, as you can see in here, the artifact was moved to Cucumber Java, which is this one. And there are actively a lot of developments happening in here. As you can see, it has gone from version 1.2 to all the way 4.7.2. And it is very, very active in development. And the month is like September now. And you can see it is developed till August. And every month there is a lot of development happening. There are many breaking changes, of course, with our existing project. But it is pretty cool to see that there are active development happening in this repository of the Cucumber. So we should focus on this particular version of Cucumber rather using the older version. And most importantly, Cucumber Limited is now acquired by Smart Beer, which is really a good news. The reason is because Smart Beer is one of the most famous company for delivering many automated software. And I still remember in 2006 when I was working with Test Complete, this Smart Beer tool was really, really handy. The Test Complete was a complete competitor for the QTP or UFT that you name it right now. And similarly, all the new automation testing softwares which is released today, which is kind of popular like Cucumber and HipTest and Swagger is all now part of Smart Beer. So Smart Beer company is acquiring most of the companies which are kind of very, very popular in terms of the automation testing field, which is really cool. And now Cucumber is also part of Smart Beer. So you should see some of the active development happening in Cucumber area right now. So the following libraries that we'll be upgrading in this particular section are gonna be this. As you can see, we were using the info.cukes and the version was 1.2.5 for Cucumber Java, Cucumber JUnit, and even for Cucumber TestNG. But now it's all gonna be io.cucumber, which is the Cucumber's actual repository. And the latest version is 4.7.2. And we're gonna be upgrading everything like Cucumber Java, Cucumber TestNG, Cucumber JUnit, to 4.7.2, which is pretty awesome. So all the libraries are gonna be latest and greatest, which is awesome as well. So what are the breaking changes that you'll be seeing in this particular uh, video, at least in this particular section? You can see that the first and foremost change that you will be seeing is gonna be the importing of the libraries because the package name has been changed. In the Cucumber option, you will now have something called as plugin where you can specify the JSON file or the listener or some formatter or glues and everything is going to be sitting within this plugin. So this is the major breaking change. There are some changes in the data table as well. So you can use the as list and then you can also have your own custom transformation. So we'll be discussing about that in our upcoming videos of this section. But yes, these are some of the most noticeable breaking changes. But other than that, there are a few features as well in the Cucumber 4, which is gonna be the before step and after step hooks. So this before step and after step hooks are pretty, pretty handy while working with the reporting 
which we're not going to be talking about, at least in the basic course, but in the advanced series of the Automation Framework Development with Selenium Java course, we are going to be talking about the before step, and we're going to leverage the power of it for our extent reporting. So these are some of the new features added as well. Again, the upgrade is really cool. Only if you do the upgrade, you will see some of the greater features which are going to be added within the Cucumber, just the active branch, and then you can leverage the same power within your automation testing project. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my IntelliJ IDE. So before jumping into the IntelliJ IDE itself, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the repository and I'm going to take the Selenium Cucumber uh, project that you can see over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna probably copy or maybe clone this particular repo within my local uh, drive. So I'm just gonna open the item terminal and I'm gonna create a directory here as uh, Selenium Java Basic. And over here, I'm gonna open the IntelliJ IDE. So let me also open the IntelliJ IDE. Uh, I need to clone, so let me clone over here. All right, so now I have uh, cloned the project and it is now opened within my uh, IntelliJ IDE. So I have already updated the IntelliJ IDE to the latest and the greatest version, which is version 2019 uh, of it. And it is currently there with me with all the uh, plugins that we already used in our earlier videos of this course. So you can see that uh, we now have the versions, uh, if I go to the Palmer XML file, you can see it's all using version 1.2.5 uh, of the test ng, of the Pico container, and the J unit, and everything, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe remove them all uh, from here, even these things, maybe completely. And Pico container, I'm gonna remove as well. And Cucumber test ng, I'm gonna remove that. Even the test ng, I'm gonna remove that. Let's upgrade all of these versions. So for upgrading it, uh, as usual, I'm gonna go to the uh, Maven and I'm gonna search for Cucumber for uh, Maven. And it takes us to this particular place. And this is the latest version. Uh, let me go here. 4.7.2. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. Right? So it has been downloaded right now. And similarly, I'm going to be downloading the uh, other versions of the libraries, such as Cucumber, Pico Container, and then TestNG, JUnit, and stuff. So these are the libraries. So you can see this Cucumber TestNG, Cucumber JUnit, and Cucumber Pico Container. And all of them are right now available. So these are the uh, latest and the greatest versions right now. So I'm just going to build this particular project. And you can see that we get this particular error. Uh, the reason is because the structure of the project has been changed. So I need to use the latest version of Java 10. And then I'm going to uh, choose the language level to 10 as well. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go to the preferences. And over here, within the preference, I'm going to search for JDK, uh, where you can change the compiler from version 1.5 to 10, because this is the latest version that we are using, actually. And now if I try to build this particular project, you will see that there will be some sort of compiler error, and it says that there is an illegal escape characters. So again, guys, because I was using this particular project with our uh, Windows operating system, we are getting this particular error, but if you are already using the Mac operating system, you will have uh, a different sort of uh, path. So this is nothing to do with the uh, Windows operating system, guys. So you can use the same path if your Chrome driver is sitting in this location. But since I'm using my Mac operating system, I'm just going to change this particular path alone. Uh, and then you can see that there is a cross here for this particular before and for the after. The reason is because this particular library is now not applicable, right? Because this is not cucumber.ava.java anymore. It's all ivo.cucumber. So now if I try to build a particular project, you can see that we will get some sort of error here. Again, as I told you before, the data table has been completely uh, changed. So it is not going to be sitting in this particular library. So I'm just going to remove them. And 
you can see that we get this error so if i just put option enter oops you can see that it is from io of kumba data table right so i'm going to choose that uh, and the error will be resolved i'm just going to build this project once again and we get an error for the cucumber options as well. So as I said to you before, these libraries are not applicable right now. So I'm just gonna hit Alt Enter, uh, import the classes for this one because we are using test ng and this one as well. And you can see that the format cannot be now resolved. The reason is because it is now not format guys, it is gonna be plugin. So there is nothing called format anymore. Now the team has completely replaced from format to plugins right so you need to make sure that it is going to be plugin not format so you can see that there are so many changes happening right now uh, then compared to uh, the one that we were using before at least early this year and these are some of the breaking changes that we are seeing in here right and now if i build this particular project you will get uh, some other errors but as of now it is not showing but now if i go to the login steps you can see that there is a cross here for the then uh, and given as well. Similarly, in the hooks, we have this particular cross saying the after and before is not applicable as well. So these are some of the errors that we need to be resolving before we actually can use the Cucumber 4, which we'll be discussing in our next video. Thank you.